Sir Isaac Newton was born in this house in England on Christmas Day, 1642. He would go on to become one of the most influential scientists of all time. He would lay down the foundations for classical mechanics, develop calculus, and make significant contributions to the field of optics. In this video, we will discuss Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion. As the Black Plague spread through England in the mid-1660s, Cambridge University, where Newton was a student, was closed. Thus, Newton spent the two years away working on his theories that would eventually become the Principia. This work would go on to revolutionize the scientific world. Newton's first law states, Every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. This can also be stated as, an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion, with the same speed and the same direction, unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. We can see this law at work with our wagon. If left alone, the wagon will remain still. In order to move the wagon, we have to apply an unbalanced force as shown here. If we ignore friction and air resistance, the wagon will still keep moving even after the force is removed. A satellite in orbit is a good example of Newton's first law. In order to maintain orbit, the satellite is traveling at a velocity such that the Earth will curve away beneath it. With the absence of atmospheric friction, the satellite will not require additional force in order to continue to circle around the Earth. Newton's second law of motion is stated as The relationship between an object's mass m, its acceleration a, and the applied force f is f equals ma. For our purposes, we will transpose the formula to acceleration equals force divided by mass. We will ignore friction for our examples. If we apply the same force to these two different size masses, we can see that the acceleration is twice as high for the 10 kg mass than it is for the 20 kg mass. We can accelerate both masses at the same rate if we apply twice as much force to the 20 kg mass as shown here. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In this demonstration, the wall pushes back on the force applied to it equally. For rocket flight, thrust is an example of the third law. The acceleration of the pressurized gases through the rocket engine nozzle creates an action. The reaction is the thrusting force created on the engine mount. Discovery of the laws of motion was just one of the accomplishments of Sir Isaac Newton. His work on optics and the discovery of the law of gravity would impact the world greatly as well. However, some would say that Sir Isaac Newton's greatest impact was his ability to take his theories and apply them to the universe at large. This changed everything. <laughs>